Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this kind of house bass stab sound um, in FL Studio's Citrus. Uh, so it sounds like this. So it's a fairly simple sound, but even if you don't like it that much, I recommend you watch this video because there is an important technique that I mentioned in this video that will be applicable to making other kind of uh, bass sounds, especially in Deep House or Future House. So yeah. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add a Citrus and load up the default preset. And I'm going to take the master pitch all the way down. And this will give me a nice bass sound. So now in the uh, matrix, I'm going to turn off operator 1 to out, and I'm going to do operator 1, operator 2, and operator 3, uh, all into filter 1, and I'm going to do filter 1 to out. And I'm going to temporarily, uh, by right-clicking, I will disable operator 1. But now, in operator 2 and operator 3, I'm going to select square waves. Um, but I'm going to turn the B limit option off. Now operator 2, I'm going to keep at a frequency ratio of 2. But operator 3, I'm going to change to a frequency ratio of 3. And this is the thing that is really important about this tutorial that you can use to make other sounds, is this 2 to 3 frequency ratio. What this does is if, if I'll, I'll start it off with a 2 to 4, and you can hear how this sounds. And now I'm going to switch this back down to 3, and you will hear how this sounds. You know, so this 2 to 3 frequency ratio, you should be able to hear it. It has a certain character. Um, it, it sounds really rich, and it's really nice to use in like these deep house and future house genres of music. And what this is, is essentially, it's kind of like a power chord, if you're familiar with power chords at all. And you can do this in other synthesizers as well. So if I add a 3x OSC, So you can see with the 3XOC, the, uh, I'm using two oscillators, and they're both at zero. So I can't really do a 2 to 3 frequency ratio here. So instead, what I have to do is a plus 7 semitones. And you can hear it has that similar character to it. So that's, again, it's you know plus 7 semitones. And then you can do it with octaves as well. So instead, it could be plus uh, 12 and then plus 7 more. But yeah, so it's plus 7 and then any octaves of that. So just like that, you can do octaves with this as well. I could go up to 6 instead of 3. And basically, I can multiply or divide it by 2. And it will still have a similar character. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I will do in operator 3, volume, mod y. I'm going to uh, drag the first point down. And in operator 2, volume, mod x, I'm going to do the same thing. And this will allow you to use the x and y to balance those two operators. Uh, so you can kind of customize the sound a bit that way. And now finally, operator 1, I'm going to do it as a square as well, but I'm going to drop its frequency ratio down to 1. And this um, adds in the bass. And then I will activate it um, again. So now that I have the basic character of the sound done, I'm going to turn it into a pluck. So I'm going to start to do this by you know, going into the operator 1 volume envelope, and I will enable it and give myself a nice volume envelope. Uh, 
Um, and now I'm going to copy this and I will paste it into operator 2 volume envelope and operator 3 volume envelope. And now I'm going to do a similar thing with the filter cutoff envelope. So again, I'm going to make that envelope. And you know, you can adjust it to make it how you want. And you can also uh, select different filters. Um, so I'm going to change this to flat. I'm going to turn flat on. And select alt times two um, filter mode. But you can play around with this and get it to be how you want it to. You know, you can try out the different filters. You can turn flat on or off. Um, and you can play around with the cutoff and the uh, envelope. Um, but that sounds pretty good to me. And now the last thing I'm going to do is turn on the unison. I'm going to turn it up to five voices, everything else I'm leaving the same. But then I'm going to go in to each of these operators and turn on D-click and turn on global phase. So this will have it change a bit, it'll be a bit more dynamic. Not in terms of dynamic range, but it'll change as you play it more. And it, it sounds pretty nice to me. And at this point, if you want to change the decay of it, um, you can adjust the volume attack and the filter attack on the main panel. So those are the basics of how you can make the sound. And you can, of course, play around with different frequency ratios if you want to. I can change this to 6. And you can also play around with using different waveforms. Uh, uh, and all that good stuff. So hopefully this was helpful. And hopefully you can use the techniques explained in this video to, you know, make your own nice bass stabs for house music. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.